This week, we highlight another life well lived. At the dawn of the television age in the 1950s, American presidents suddenly had to concern themselves not just with what they said, but how they appeared to the country on TV. One legendary makeup artist was there for nine of them with her powder and her counsel. Lillian Brown, who grew up on a farm in Ohio and began her career as a teacher in a one-room schoolhouse, served as makeup artist and occasional confidant to United States presidents from Eisenhower to Clinton. In 1953, Brown began producing educational television programs in Virginia. Soon, she was hosting a weekly children's show in the same studio where CBS News shot its public affairs program, Face the Nation. CBS noticed Brown's guest looked better on camera than theirs did, so the network hired her. She had no formal training, but an early eye for what looks good on camera. After Brown applied President Dwight Eisenhower's makeup for the show, she became a fixture at the White House. She worked with President Kennedy and made up First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy for her famous White House tour. Are there many state dinners? Yes, there are. Uh, there were almost two a month last year. Brown carried a tie and a pair of socks in her bag in case she didn't like a president's look. She gave pointers on diction and camera angles, too. She worked at several universities in Washington, teaching a class on public speaking at Georgetown, and later one for female politicians at Yale. On August 8, 1974, Brown was called to the White House. There she found President Richard Nixon weeping. Brown lightened the mood with an old story they shared, and the president's tears dried. Then she applied his makeup, just minutes before he resigned the presidency. Lillian Brown, a presidential makeup artist and advisor who had a front row seat to history, died last month at home in McLean, Virginia. She was 106 years old.